Archaeological evidence such as animal bones and lipid residue analysis on pottery shards indicates they herded cattle and, possibly, sheep and goats. Notably, there's evidence of dairy consumption around 7,000 years ago, one of the earliest occurrences of this practice in Africa. They were also skilled artisans, producing pottery decorated with distinct patterns, such as the dotted wavy line and lighter band traditions found across a vast area of the Sahara and Sahel. Here lies a fascinating paradox, while their material culture, like pottery styles, suggests connections and exchanges with neighboring regions, their genetic profile points to prolonged isolation. How is this possible? Perhaps ideas and technologies traveled through networks of sporadic contact while the main populations remained genetically distinct due to geographical barriers, social structures limiting marriage outside the group, or simply the vastness of the territory. The Green Sahara, though more hospitable, was still an immense landscape, allowing groups to maintain their genetic identity over millennia, even while participating in a broader sphere of cultural interaction.